Paul Dowsley at police headquarters, thank you. The Metro Tunnel has reached a major milestone, running test trains into the city for the first time. The Premier was quick to point out that the project is running on schedule, but also conceded it's billions over budget. As the city slept, two trains crept from South Yarra into the Metro Tunnel. It was a slow and steady test run, their top speed just 20 kilometres per hour. Both trains arrived safely at Anzac Station just after 2am, allowing everyone involved in the $12.6 billion project to breathe a little easier. Oh, it was fantastic. It's um, a big relief. Testing will run for a full year before the project opens in 2025, along with five new stations, pushing trains from Cranbourne, Pakenham and Sunbury through the new twin tunnels. This is the biggest milestone on the biggest transport infrastructure project that our state has ever seen. And although it is on time, it's $2.7 billion over budget. Things cost what they cost. The cost of not doing it is the place grinds to a halt. The announcement provided a distraction from the chaos of the Commonwealth Games. The Premier was no closer to providing answers on costs. The discussions are ongoing and they'll be concluded when they're uh, concluded. This isn't just a milestone for Victoria, it's a milestone for the Premier's career. Daniel Andrews hopes this will be the legacy he leaves behind as leader of the state. Daniel Andrews' legacy is one of record debt, record taxes, having set Victoria broke. What no one will be able to say about this government in decades to come is that we didn't get on and get things done. Chanel Vella, 7 News. A pedestrian